So my poor disc sander of many years has had it. I think from when I last took this apart, when I found all the dust in it, it was, uh, yeah, the bearing was obviously knackered then. And it's even worse now. <laughs> so, time for a new disc sander. So, what I've done, I've um, dismantled my table saw that I built. It was a bit underpowered anyway, and it's got a good motor in it, which is here. So this is the motor that's in it, with a nice steel platform on it, and I've made up... Oh, if it'll come off. Perhaps not. made up the collar leg and that is the best fit usually you'll see in some of my videos trying to fit a bore to a shaft I've been terrible at but this one's good but anyway I've made this adapter this is a face plate I got with my metal working lathe when I picked it up last year and uh, it's a, is it a 1 and an eighth, 7 TPI, something like that. Anyway, I've cut a thread on there and bored a hole in the back. So that'll screw onto there, and that is a nice, absolutely wobble through free fit on there. Okay, so far I've got this mounted on. I've put a little shim in there because that's the best way I could get this running, well, as near as damn. But anyway, the outside face, we're running oh, tenth of a millimetre, which I think is quite good. And on the outside face, That's not so great. Well, probably half a mil. Well, if there's glare on there. But that could just be this disc I've put on there. I suppose I could stick it on the back and see what we've got. Let's see what we've got there. Yeah, we're about the same. We're about half a mil out. But I can still shim that further to get that running true. So I'm not overly worried about that. But anyway, it's not staying because I've, I've still got to finish this. I've got to uh, put a keyway in it because there's a keyway on the shaft. So. But that's so far. Now, what I want to do, I want to keep this base, and I think I'm going to put this motor exactly central. I'll then have that as the width of the machine, which I think will be plenty. So that's what I'm going to do next.
116 mil and 116 mil. Uh, square that. is on. This bush here that I made, um, if you'll notice lately, some of my fitting a hole to a shaft <laughs> has been terrible lately, but this one, that is a perfect fit on there. <clears throat> Next thing I've got to figure out is a keyway. how to get one in there and I don't think that's going to be very very easy to do now I've got that stuck in there and why not come out yeah how am I going to do that I don't know. I'll figure something. Right, my budget way of doing this. I've got no way of actually broaching in there. I've, even if I've done it on the lathe like I've done before, I haven't got a tool and I don't want to grind one up. So I'm going to drill this. I've actually centre drilled it so it's uh, not right on the, the line. I've put that plug in there. But it's just off so there'll be more drilled out inside of this all right I'm hoping that's going to be enough It might work. Let's put that screw in. Hopefully we can draw that out. Might have to use the vice. <laughs> and there we go. Hopefully. That should be enough work that will try so it doesn't quite fit but in my little box of keys <laughs> tons of them in here I've probably got a little bit of key steel that is the right size <clears throat> let's give it a clean up went in a little while ago didn't it there we go and will this one fit any better probably not no but I can just take the corners off which is all it needs and that's still going to be a perfectly fine fit for me anyway there so, yeah. 
about the right length. So I'm just going to take two corners off. I notice the hole is not running exactly. It kind of tapers off towards the centre of the main hole very slightly. So I've tapered that a little bit. And that now is a nice tight fit. And you're going to go nowhere. That'll do. Now I need to put a hole in for a grub screw through it. It should be easy enough. Right. Bring that out. Can't get behind it with a tap follower, so I'm just gonna have to go in by hand. Oh. Line by line. Seems to have found its way in. Grubby there. Oops. Knocking stuff everywhere. Don't tell me this is M6. I should have checked, shouldn't I? No, it's going to go. That'll be fine. Right, the next thing I want to do while I've got the tool post drill on is I want to put a hole in so I can put a bar in and use that to tighten the face plate on and off. So I think I'll actually do that opposite. That will do that.
I've got to change chucks because this one only goes up to 8 mil and I need to put the 3 8 one in and it's an easy enough thing it's just a case of doing that I managed to find a 3 8 drill bit I've had to resharpen it and it was a bit manky on the end so it was ideal to cut down Should do. Throw this down. <laughs> well, it's on there tightened it on and everything seems to be running absolutely lovely let's put a clock on bring you up so you can see that well, I think that kind of run out on there is pretty damn good. Is that about 0.1 of a millimeter? Yeah. And so we've got about 0.2 on there. glare on that. I'm quite pleased with that. Wish I had that on my rotary table I made. <laughs> Never mind. So this is pretty good so far but that doesn't mean that it won't vibrate because <laughs> there's a lot more to, to it than just that. Anyway I suppose now is start building the table and I wanted it pivoting this time, the last one I had didn't pivot. So we'll get thinking about how we're going to do that. Okay, the story so far. I'm just about ready to wire it up, but um, I've put these, these are 2x4s or 100 by 50 and then these are 6x2 or 150 by 50 underneath. So that's all bolted on all the way through and now I'm just going to put the NVR switch on Give it a go. <laughs> it's probably going to jump around a bit because it probably won't be balanced. Oh. 
quiet. Well, I've got it balanced. And all it took was an M8 nut, an M5 nut and a screw. So that's not bolted down at all. And I'm going to put this, balance that like that. Yeah, nicely balanced. And that will still move around. I've been drawing up templates for cutting the trunnions for the pivoting table, which I actually used a bit of the old table saw because it's got the Runners in it, so that'll work nicely. I'll make good use of that, and then the rest of it I'm going to cut all these bits out, and that'll make the trunnions. So I've got to stick them down, cut them out, rough shape, and then other the lines I can cut them out to, and then hopefully everything will go together. <laughs> 